it's time for a snack attack. This episode is brought to you by Paramount Plus. Get in, loser! Mean Girls is now streaming on Paramount Plus. Join Katie Heron as she meets the plastics and Tina Fey's new twist on the modern classic. Get ready for more of the rumors, backstabbing, and jokes you loved from the original movie with some fetch surprises. Rated PG 13. Wear pink and head to ParamountPlus.com to try it free. When you hear this, what do you feel? At IMAX, you'll feel transported by our unique sound system and crystal clear images. Like you're running across a desert planet or defending your city from a surprise invasion. With immersive IMAX sound and screens curved to show more, we take fans to the edge of their seats. Get tickets to Dune Part 2 now and experience it in IMAX's exclusive expanded aspect ratio. It's time for a snack attack. Surge is a citrus-flavoured soft drink that was first introduced by the Coca-Cola Company in 1996 to compete with PepsiCo's Mountain Dew. The history of Surge soda is an interesting journey that involves market competition, consumer preferences, and a bit of nostalgia. Here's a brief overview. Surge was developed by Coca-Cola as a response to the growing popularity of Mountain Dew, which was dominating the citrus-flavoured soda market at the time. Surge was formulated to appeal to a younger demographic with its bold flavour and high caffeine content. It was first test-marketed in select regions before its nationwide release in 1997. Marketing and promotion. Coca-Cola heavily marketed Surge to young adults and teenagers, utilising aggressive advertising campaigns, extreme sports sponsorships and tie-ins with video games and other youth-oriented media. The marketing aimed to position Surge as a drink for those seeking adventure and excitement. Popularity and cult following. Surge gained a dedicated fan base, particularly among gamers, extreme sports enthusiasts and teenagers. Its distinctive green colour and bold taste set it apart from other sodas on the market. Surge quickly became a staple in many households and was often consumed as a beverage of choice during gaming sessions or outdoor activities. Despite its initial popularity, Surge faced challenges in maintaining sales and market share. Some critics raised concerns about its high caffeine content and its potential health effects, particularly on children and adolescents. Additionally, changing consumer preferences and the decline of the citrus-flavoured soda market contributed to a decrease in Surge's sales. Coca-Cola eventually discontinued Surge in 2003, much to the dismay of its loyal fan base. In revival and reintroduction, despite its discontinuation, Surge continued to have a dedicated following, with fans organising online campaigns and petitions urging Coca-Cola to bring back the beloved soda. In response to this grassroots movement, Coca-Cola relaunched Surge in 2014 as an online exclusive through Amazon, allowing fans to purchase the soda in limited quantities. The resurgence of Surge generated significant buzz on social media and led to its availability in select stores across the United States. Surge's comeback tapped into the nostalgia of millennials who grew up drinking the soda in the 1990s. Its revival sparked renewed interest in other discontinued products from that era, leading to the re-release of several retro snacks and beverages. Surge continues to have a dedicated fan base, and its comeback serves as a testament to the power of consumer demand and nostalgia in shaping the beverage industry. Overall, the history of Surge soda reflects the dynamic nature of the soft drink market, as well as the enduring appeal of iconic brands and flavours from the past. This has been a Rogue Media Network production.